That's a tall ask. It's a, it's a tall, tall ask for what personally seems like four figures that like just aren't that special. So let's let's talk about what's currently happening on Mattel Creations right now. All right, so I'm over here on Mattel Creations and there's this really I want to say that it's cool because I mean this could be really cool. It could be a really cool thing. There's a 4 decades 4 heroes celebration 4 pack that's on Mattel Creations. Now, this is the site where they do a lot of... Uh, this is where the made-to-orders were, and this is also the site where they do a lot of exclusives and whatnot. So let's look. Um, so I'm going to click Shop now, because I, I need you to see this. This is what I need you to see. <sighs> oh, my. $100 and $50. Let's, let's look at this first off, because I want to discuss some stuff that's cool, some stuff that's not so good, and so on and so forth. That's, that's what I want to do first before we really get into this, because I am very, very new to this, okay? I'm very, very new to collecting Motu, and even really being into it. In fact, you could see my entire, I'll literally put it up there in the info card, you could see my entire journey as of yet, if you're interested. But let's look at this thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll describe what it is I really, really like, what it is I don't like, okay? Now, first off, here's this, okay? We got four of the He-Man figures throughout the years, which is, of course, all four of them are He-Man. So it's basically, it's the main character of the show, which makes sense, right? That makes sense. The main thing that drug, you know, the, the hero be like doing a Superman celebration where they sell four different eras of Superman, right? Well, this was the original He-Man. That's the idea behind it. And then this is Adventures He-Man. This is 2000X He-Man, which I know I'm very new to this fandom in general, but 2000X, I've always kind of been confused as to why people like affectionately re uh, refer to it that as that, because it's like 2002 and 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Um... It just confuses me that that's that why it's referenced 2000X, but that's the common reference that I come across all the time, and who am I to argue? I'm very new in all this. And then, of course, the new He-Man, that is what he currently is in the, uh, in the new CG show. Okay, the C yeah, the CG show. Now, there is, there's a common thread throughout these He-Men, He-Mans, uh, because they're all from main series that were specifically marketed two kids and that's fine so we don't see a revelation he-man here and that's that's okay that really is okay i'm not sure what exactly they would have changed but it would have been neat to see a revolution style he-man in this setup where he would have had the different arm and whatnot because here they are they did they did a 2000x version so i don't see that they couldn't i'm just putting it out there that that for me that would have been awesome but i understand why okay so here's the back. This is this is something I actually did like a lot is he has a sheath because he doesn't really have a sheath on the other He-Man. He has this. In fact, all the He-Man He-Mans that I've seen so far all have what Adventures has. Just this little thing where they can hold the sword. Then he has the same thing. And he has the same, well, he actually, he looks like maybe his just plugs into the back or something. I'm not sure how that's held on there. Um, by the way, cool power sword right there for the new He-Man. Uh, in this style, I don't, I don't dislike this He-Man that much, honestly. And we're just talking style, by the way. I haven't seen the CG series. It could be really, really cool. In fact, I have no doubt that given the right amount of time for me to look into it, it probably is really, really cool. But on a first glance, it just, it didn't have my vote. Okay. 
This looks like the box that it's going to come in. It's going to come in what looks like a television set, and it's going to have all these different He-Men. Uh, this is basically just a graphic, exactly what I said. This is Masters of the Universe, uh, He-Man Adventures, uh, the Masters of the Universe 2000X, and the new He-Man series. And then this is a look at the packaging. That's pretty cool. Uh, I think these. I think this is. Uh, yeah, this is the out. This is the outer packaging, the box that I believe that it's coming in, which is cool. That looks really cool. That looks really cool. This is fantastic. You can see the box right there. I don't even have to do the zoom thing. That's really cool. I think that's the outer shell that's going to protect this. I think this is the actual thing. This is the actual box that looks like a TV once you open it up. Um, one thing to point out that is actually cool is. Each of these He-Man figures are going to be launched inside of their own little packaging, which calls back to what they were. So this is going to call back to what this He-Man was, what he was meant to be. This is the He-Man, of course, that would be his packaging. This is the packaging that you would have seen for that for that style, and this is the New Age packaging, and that's pretty cool. They've, they're all in the Origins design, so they're all retro packaging, but packaging that matches as if these were part of that line, and that is a cool idea. Here we go. Each one of these guys looks like... Now, this is cool. I thought this was cool. Each one of them is going to come in a box that matches the idea of their show being on TV Guide. That's awesome. It's Motu Guide. It's a play on the concept. But that's what this is. These are TV Guides. That is really, really inventful. That is cool. Here's a better look at the He-Man in general. And this face, man... <laughs> This, this kissy face, he man, this pouty lips, full lips. Mm. <laughs> he, he reminds me of like in anime when they take a character and they make him like super attractive for no, for no reason like that. Like the, the cliche cut jaw he-man figure in anime that they show when they're purposely trying to be like i'm pretty that kind of thing and it's it's very much played for a joke he looks like that this to me <laughs> the, i just don't get it uh maybe some people think this is really hardcore right on spot with what the anime he anime face animation face looked like i'm not a hundred percent i don't i don't see it um I love this. This sword, if I have to talk about one thing in this line, the fact that they have vac metal weapons is sick. It's awesome. It's so good. Here's a look at the He-Man from Adventures, which this was New Adventures. This is when he was in space, which is fine. I never liked that power sword. Never will, never have, never will. I like that his shield is also a cr uh, look like vac metal. That's solid. I think that I think uh, the other He-Man shield was as well, but we didn't see it in that picture. But we do see it in this one, which is solid. So you could see that he's got a vac metal axe. I actually think it, that may actually be vac metal. That that looks really shiny. That may be as well, or it's a really really good paint, and I think that as well. So this is the close. This is this is what kind of blows my mind. He has the head that I like the most. He does. Because I'm not a big fan of this kissy face he man. I don't care for this he man in general. He has the face I think I've become accustomed to in He-Man figures. It's more of the classic head that I recognize. And then, of course, this guy who... Wow, that power sword is, is awesome. I'm going to give that to him. And then otherwise, he's fine, even though he's not like something. I would not go out of my way to buy him. But it's not about me except for the fact that I'm about to make it a little bit about me, because I do have a bit of a problem, and I want to talk about it real quick, because that price tag right there, this pack costs $150, and I just, like, that is not, not worth it. Now, it could be just me. It very well could. I'm 100% on board for the idea that it could just be me. But let's 
let's be honest about something real quick. Let's pull up my calculator here just for the sake of. I'll put it over to the side. You go you guys can't see it, but it's I've got it. Okay? Look. Let's say that on the norm each one of these figures was sold as just an origins figure, which by the way, that's what they are. They're just origin figures. They get the vac metal for the most part, which is cool, but it didn't need any new tooling. As far as I could tell, the only new tooling I see, um, tooling is uh, when they actually have to build new parts for characters. It's not like repaints. They have to make all new parts in order to house the characters. Uh, they all they all seem to use the same chest, so nothing there. Uh, I imagine that the biggest tooled figure here is the new He-Man. Otherwise, they already made this He-Man, this uh, this 2002 He-Man, 2000X He-Man, and the new Adventures He-Man still uses like a lot of the same legs and whatnot. So I don't see I don't see a lot of tooling on him either. His head, definitely his head. So like they had to tool a couple heads and whatnot, and the most tooling came out over there, which is fine. But on the normal, even when you tool an all new figure in Origins, which is not very often, by the way, it's oftentimes that they tool what they need. They get a piece per guy. Maybe they tool a new head and then they move on from there. So they reuse a lot of chests, reuse a lot of legs, reuse a lot of feet. This is normal in toys. I'm not saying anything bad about it. This is normal in toys. I expect them to do this. But normally, these figures sell, in fact, currently, right now, you can get a lot of these guys for as low as 13 or less on Amazon, and you can get new releases for as cheap as $16.99, we're going to rough that out to $17, and we're going to say with extreme shipping and handling, each guy could maybe cost, and we're being ridiculous here, 26 and I am purposely going out of my way to be ridiculous. In fact, let's say that just like when I bought um Grizzlore recently, Grizzlore was a little bit he was a little bit more than some of the others. He cost $18 and then he was like $7 shipping, little under that. But around that, he came out relatively like 25 bucks. That's that's relatively what it is. There are four of these figures. That's a hundred dollars right there. That's a hundred dollars. And by the way, I'm being I'm being pretty generous here because the shipping and handling, um, I can't imagine that it would be that much more because they're gonna pack these in pretty tight. So it's not like you're getting four separate figures that you paid the shipping and handling for four separate times. So I don't think that's even actually being correct here. And packaging, no matter how amazing packaging is, it's normally a type of cardboard. It's normally pennies to, to them, literally. Um, and a lot of these are going to be reused stock graphics that they already had, literally in stock. Uh, the back panels, like the back of the cards, are probably going to be artists. Some, so they had to pay an actual artist to do some stuff and whatnot. But what I'm saying here is that $150 is a tall ask for four He-Man figures. Like, it is amazing to me. And they're limiting people to two, okay? That's fine, because you know, in fact, it already has. These are already appearing on sites to be scalped. Um... And what am I talking about? Because I am going to take this four pack here. I'm going to put it into my deal. A dupe, dupe. Let's put this in here. And I am literally going to click the shopping button. That's simple. I saw somebody post it today. I'm not coming across it. 
but I saw today a post, uh, and I wish I would have saved it because I wanted to, I wanted to show it off here. I wanted to be like, hey, uh, this is already happening. I saw a post today that was showing the uh, the four pack for three hundred. Somebody was already putting it up and being like, pay me, pay me. Like, wow. Because that's that's not wasting any time at all right there. That is, <laughs> that is something. Absolutely. That, I'm not finding it now. So maybe you could say I'm over-exaggerating. But this morning... I did find it, and I really wish I would have saved it, because I really should have, had I been thinking about it. I should have saved it before I, uh, before I came in, or before I came home. But I was on break, and I went and I found that it was already basically, or they already had it up and were asking $300 on it. And I was like, what? Like, I was, it just... And it's not that we don't expect this kind of crap, okay? Because we do. We expect the whole scalpers thing to be that way. We expect it to... We expect that if people can get their hands on these, they're going to sell them that way. Because they are, okay? We're not oblivious to it. We're not ridiculous. We're not stupid here. That's the way it's going to be. Now, I'm taking a super hard pass on this thing. I just can't understand, for the life of me, the idea of this, this bundle. Like, you can order this, you can order this right now, pre-order, tonight. You could spend $150 and get four He-Mans. But, like, why? Why? I just, some people like what they like. There's no way around that. And I can't crap on somebody for liking what they like, because when you like what you like, you like what you like. And you know what? It's good. It's not a bad thing to like something like this, to want something like this. I get it. And if you have the money to do it, well, then, you know, that's your money. And there's, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and necessarily dog you for buying something that you like, because look, uh, we could argue. We could argue, okay? Let me, let me play devil's, devil's advocate real quick against myself, okay? Let's do it. Let's play devil's advocate against myself. I'm the bad guy, right? So I go to Amazon and I go Orco. Masters of the Universe. To get the Orco that I want right now, which is the Wave 2 from Origins, if I went onto Amazon, okay, and I clicked the uh, see all buying options, he's, he's at the lowest with free shipping, and I have Prime, he's at the lowest 45 bucks. It's 44.87. That's the lowest one that I can get that's actually still sitting in a package. And then right alongside him is a Stinkor, which is another one that I would want, which is 27 And actually, there's another one here that I would definitely want. Uh, okay, so this, this guy right here is 48 okay? We just, we just determined that. He would cost me 48 bucks, and then... I see right here there's a there's a $34 scare glow and that's 82 bucks. And then if I added on top of that a $25 uh Lords of Power um uh merman because that's a character that I actually like and yeah, it's another one that I intend to get at some point. Uh so already Oh, and you know what? Just for the sake of it, Faker. Okay, a Faker would cost me round twenty-seven. Uh, with change, of course, we'll mark him up to twenty-eight. So that's uh. 
Look, I'm still only at 135. That's four characters. They're all four characters that I don't have. Some of them with a mass amount of tooling in terms of, you know, these aren't like my other guys because the faker is just He-Man painted blue. He's a, he's a color scheme change. No, no tooling at all when it comes to that guy. He's going to have the same head and everything, whatever. So, like, I get really nothing but a repaint when I buy him, but Orko is going to be almost completely 100% a tooled new thing on the shelf that, like, is crazy. And just... <sighs> I don't personally understand. This one is not for me. It says that it it says that uh it's 40th anniversary four pack. It's 5.5 inch. Uh, it's a 5.5 scale Motu figure, which I like. This 5.5, I really do. I, I've enjoyed it quite a bit so far. 16 points of articulation, the exact same uh, the exact same articulation that exists with the other He-Man figures. Uh, He-Man action figures from the 80s Filmation series, 90s New Adventures, uh, early 200X Defender, and the most recent Netflix He-Man Masters of the Universe series. And it says premium TV packaging with Motu Easter eggs for uh, fanatics. And uh, let me just let me just focus that word there for a minute. Fanatics. Um, that has to be 100% accurate. Fanatics, because you, you have to be a pretty big fan, personally, to justify this buy. $150 for four figures, which are He-Man, which are the highest produced figures in, in terms of He-Man and Skeletor are the highest produced figures in terms of Motu, and especially in terms of Motu Origins. That's true for almost any line. You expect that Motu uh, is He-Man and Skeletor. They're going to be the highest produced figures. They're going to run the most. Your best chance to get what you want, you're always going to find a He-Man, you're always going to find a Skeletor. Go online, walk down an aisle, you can find these things. But here's the thing. If if that's the, because of that, these are usually the first ones marked down as well. So on the normal, on the normal, what ends up happening with these figures is that He-Man will sell, I got my He-Man, both of them, by the way, both the He-Man figures that I bought were under $10, both of them, both of them. And three of the Skeletors I bought were under $10. In fact, Dumbface Skeletor, he cost me a whopping six bucks. That's it. He was marked down to like $4.99. And I, I got him. So what I'm trying to say is that when you sell He-Man in a four pack, you're basically paying for this packaging, and that's bizarre because the packaging is the cheapest part of this equation. You're paying $150, and by the way, in case you're, in case you're thinking that this is for the shipping and handling, it's not. I'm seeing people post that their figures, once they buy it, are costing them like $165 and some change. Which means that it's about $15 shipping and handling for this. Which means that the shipping and handling is less than buying Grizzlore four times. Four separate times. But that is under the idea that you're paying to have it shipped in that prime condition that you want four different times. But that's not what we're doing here. We're taking all of this, putting it into one pack, shipping one pack, and protecting all four of them. Which normally, normally, 
Like if you were to go to Big Bad Toy Store and you were to say, I need like 15 toys. And they're like, great, man. How do you want them? And I'm like, I want them one at a time. Bam, 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 bam. I'm going to pay shipping and handling on every single one of them. Or they offer a loot system where you could turn all of that into one box and get it that way. And I did that with one pack. I did it with my Shira and Hordak. I got them sent as one pack. It lowered my amount of shipping and I got them in one box and that's that's what I paid for. This seems crazy to me and I'm very new to all this. I bought Grizzlore. I was very excited and I've bought other figures that I'm very excited and I know that I'm not done spending money in Motu, but like... $150 for four He-Man figures, and the only part of it, in all honesty, for me, is the fact that it has vac metal weapons. I'd love some vac metal stuff. Uh, I just, that, that stuff is so cool. Vac metal is an awesome effect. It's amazing. I like it for the armor. I like it for the wrist things. I like it for the belts they wear. And having a power sword in vac metal, I'm holding it like a sand, like a, <laughs> but you get the idea. Having a vac metal power sword is cool. That's cool. But like, not $150 cool. It, it just, this deal blows my mind. I don't even know that I can call it a deal. I am absolutely blown away that this costs what it does. And personally, on my end, this is a hard, hard pass. The bar is set too high. I don't have enough FOMO for something like this. And I'm not tied in at a nostalgic level. So I'm looking at this from probably a different way than some other people that are out there buying it today. But for me, today, this deal, hard pass. But hey, if you want it, it's available. It's out there. Go get it, I, I guess. And if you do, and it turns out to be an amazing piece of your collection, then that's really cool for you. And I'm honestly happy, and I hope it looks great on your shelf and everything. Honestly, all, all the power to you, because we get the stuff we like. Case in point, I got the Fisto. This is Jutsu. But I got the Fisto and Jutsu. Jitsu. I got them together, just like I said I wanted to. I got them together, and you know what? I'm a certain kind of collector. I'm going to cut the tops off, because that's the part I care about. That's the part I want to keep. And you, you get the idea? There are different collectors. I'm not going to display them in box. I'm not going to post them on my wall or whatever. I'm going to take them out of that packaging. I'm going to keep the part of the packaging that I think is legit art and I'm going to put them on the shelf because that's what I want. We're all different collectors. There's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes, sometimes for some of us, we see hard passes. And for me, this special event is, is not special enough. But you better believe I'll probably be back here uh, next week, I think, because one dar I want later on. I have spoken. Take what you will from it. <laughs>